Hi and welcome to another rusty story. Um, those of you who've been following will recognise the old Defender there, which is looking pretty damn good. And this is a 1999 Full Transit 2.5 diesel um, horse lorry type, um, <coughs> purchased fairly cheaply with the view to actually sorting out all the problems. Uh, this wing was actually full of filler all the way down there. Removing the bumper revealed that the inner wing structure and all around here is completely gone. And once taken out all the plastic foot plates that are going here to reveal more rusty disasters. Lucky enough though, the panels are available for this. So I started stripping her down um, to get these wings off. There are a few um, spot welds across here and across here and around this area here which you have to remove the door for now the doors on these are really easy to take off um, bearing in mind the best way to do this would be to remove the bottom bolts with their lower hinge first close the door remove the three bolts here and then you can literally just unlock the door and lift off and it's job done nice and safe and obviously the rust around this side is pretty bad this wing has been replaced previously as you can see by the dodgy bit of welding going on there <coughs> and across to here and the same again for the footwell and in there so we've got to replace the little footstep in there seals inner wing structure and outer wing structure and it actually came with no cam belt cover so i've ordered a new one of those as well a few little problems injector one's leaking as well but other than that it's not a bad little runner so and here's the structure of the wing made up of filler you know top layer of filler there and there so as you can see it was all pretty ready to fall apart so anyway we're trying to get this wing off now and uh hopefully see more of the inner structure okay with the wing removed all the spot welds drilled out you end up with a lot of rust and it's a bit of a concern and you can see the the archway is pretty bad and it has been done before so i'm going to cut all this out a uh, new inner arch as well a uh, headlamp bracket at the bottom here is gone but i might better plate that in once i get that bit on Well, with the uh, front arch off, you can see the extent of the corrosion and the rust that's here. And it's pretty severe. And this has always been patched up. Someone's just chucked a, a bit of something in the hole. And you see it's pretty bad on the footwell. Um, I've got a new step coming, galvanised one. But you can see it's pretty bad. And this point here, this is pretty pretty bad so probably gonna have to plate this so yeah got my work cut out today okay the outrigger is well non-existent really um, I've just cut a panel out the floor to find any strong material and that's where it's strong the floor is quite badly corroded but it's pretty sound along that area so we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Okay, what I plan to do is cut the section out here where it's pretty bad, um, build a, a new outrigger and put a new corner floor in. Um, anything stronger than what's there at the moment. Okay, I've started cutting out. I've got the old outrigger out um, and I'm just tracing back to some good metal. Hopefully I'll find some soon, but good news is the chassis itself is pretty solid. So this section here is pretty solid. 
pretty bad. Okay, this is the what's left of the outrigger. Not a great deal. So a bit of measuring and comparing the other side, that is what we should have as a side panel. So I made a couple of templates up and I'm going to make a box section with a piece of steel, mild steel. And uh, we'll see how we Well, I've just welded up, uh, made a bit of an outrigger and uh, just ground the welds back a little bit. Um, yeah, not too bad. I'm going to see if it will fits quite well in there actually, so we'll give her a bash, get her on there. And uh, yeah, looking good. Okay, I've just fitted uh, my new outrigger and just waiting now for the new step and wheel artist to come and we can start welding it all back together again and put a nice new floor plate in um, but so far looking pretty good okay a couple of plates welded in and I've seam sealed uh, around the welds to protect them and just waiting now for my parts to arrive and here we have the new outer seal to go on um, and as you can see it's, uh, it's not going to be a too bad a fit and with the new step in there it's going to look quite nice um, but remember with things like this measure twice cut once okay i've um, just offering up all the new the new step and seal um, just to make sure i've got my cuts correct but as you can see it's, it's a pretty good fit actually and uh, making sure it all lines up nicely um, a few bit, got a bit of trimming to do, a bit of replating, um, but yeah, it's looking pretty damn good. Happy days. Okay, a little bit more trimming and lining up. Um, just temporarily just place the wing on there so you can make sure everything just looks in line. And as you can see, it looks pretty damn good. Um, got a bit more trimming to do um, especially around uh, underneath this area here because I found some filler so I'm going to cut that out and put a plate in but as you can see it's not too bad and the thing is with these wings people do fill them and it's so much easier just to drill out the tack welds and stick a new wing on and it's probably cheaper in the long run to do that so this is going to have a whole new front and I've just got to cut off the inner wheel arch in a minute the, in the inner liner and then uh, hopefully start welding. But she's looking pretty good. See with these transits, make sure if you've got the seatbelt anchorage point, actually in the footwell like this one, make sure you drill the hole out for the footwell first before you weld it in place because the actual thread for this is actually built into the little cross member at the back there. So make sure you get that done first before you weld. And then make sure all the surfaces are clean and dry before you start welding. Okay, I've trimmed down the inner arch and making sure it all fits and it's coming together quite nicely. A um, bit more trimming to do, but uh, as you can see, much better than the rusty heap of junk it was a few weeks ago. Okay, had a slight change of plan with the panels I was using due to a bit of distortion and more corrosion that I found actually up inside the B-post. So basically I've just cut the B-post right back to good metal and I've got a, a whole complete B post and seal and arch as one to go on. So, um, yep, yeah, let's get this whole thing together now. And also, a good tip with this is when you're actually fitting the footwell and the trims, leave the door hanging. Don't take the, put the door back on so you can make sure you get everything lined up and it should all go in pretty easily. So, fingers crossed. Okay, I've seam welded um, around the B post and around the footwell and up over the arch and I've just given it a quick coat of uh, red ham uh, sorry, red oxide just to protect it. It's going to rain, so um, I'm going to finish off rubbing down around where the joint is. I mean, I, I, I seam welded it right in there, so it's really strong. Um, and obviously all the preparation pays off because this is so solid is not going anywhere and most importantly of all the door will shut 
and okay, it's yeah, in line. Started really profiling this now to get it to blend in nicely. Um, <laughs> looking pretty good. I've started rubbing back the chassis, um, give it a coat of red oxide, and in doing so, I found a nice big hole. So I'm gonna plate that up, um, and then hopefully get the rest of it all back together, this side, and a repaint, and uh, start the other side. Okay, I've uh, reconstructed that bottom corner. Um, just gonna just put some primer, just put some primer on it for now, just to protect it, and Turn a bit more of the bottom door down, uh, not looking too bad. Got a bit more blending in to do, but uh, a lot, lot stronger than what it was. Had a lot stronger. So, right, I'm gonna hopefully put the wing on now. Okay, with the wings on and the B post, inner wheel arch, and a coat of white paint. Um, it's about two or three coats of diamond white. A um, couple of runs did appear, which is unfortunate, but um, give it a couple of weeks, give it four weeks, let the paint really harden, and a bit of rubbing compound to bring her back to a reasonable shiny van, hopefully. So, um, yeah, looking pretty good. Got a bit of work to do on the bottom of the door. Um, but as you can see, it's a much better look than um, a big, rusty, rotten wheel arch. And it all lines up quite nicely. 